Hi and welcome. My name is Maura Gamble from the Permaculture Education Institute. And what I'm sharing with you here today is Dr. Fritjof Capra, leading ecological thinker of our time, uh, scholar, activist, international best-selling author and filmmaker, describing to the Perma Youth and the Capra Youth, a group of young people who we're mentoring through his online course, The Systems of Life. He's describing to them his new conception of the four characteristics of life. And so this is something new that he's described to help to explain the very the age-old question, what is life? So I hope you enjoy this. It's a very clear description from Fritjof about the characteristics of life. Thank you for listening. Uh, I was actually thinking uh, of telling you something that I thought of recently, uh, which which might be interesting for you and and useful. Um, you you know you have followed the course. We are we are now more than halfway through. And several of you have followed the course already in the past. And so you know that this systems view of life um, contains uh, quite a few concepts that are you know, quite technical and at the forefront of modern science and uh, sometimes not as easy to understand. Uh, and recently, I have found a way to summarize this systemic understanding of life in a non-technical language. And I can do so by uh, talking about four essential characteristics of life that are char essential characteristics uh, at all levels of life, from the simplest bacterium up to the range of, you know, multicellular organisms, plants, animals, fungi, human beings, um, and so on. So these are characteristics of life that are essential at all levels of life. Okay, four of them. So here we go. The first one is life organizes itself in networks. So this contains the idea of the network being the basic pattern of organization of all living systems and the idea of self-organization, that life organizes itself, its structure and behavior is not determined from the outside, but is determined by the living system itself. So that's the first, uh, first uh, characteristic, life organizes itself in networks. The second one is, life is inherently regenerative. And I know, I don't know whether all of you understand the term inherently. It means in its very nature, in itself, in its very nature. So life is inherently regenerative. And that means that uh, a living system continually generate and regenerates itself at all levels of life. And you may remember that technically, this is known as the theory of autopoiesis, which means self-making. So in, in my new language, I say life is inherently regenerative. And of course, this is very important when we talk about regenerative agriculture. And you will hear the term regenerative uh, very much these days because it has become very popular. People talk about regenerative business, regenerative economics, regenerative agriculture, and so on. So that's the second one. The third characteristic is that life is inherently creative. 
And that refers to this uh, phenomenon of emergence, the spontaneous emergence of novelty, of something new, new structures, new behavior patterns, new processes, which is characteristic of life at all levels. Life is inherently creative. And the last one, the fourth characteristic is perhaps the most radical one for you know, conventional scientists. Uh, and it is that life is inherently intelligent. And we have an intuitive sense of that, that you know, when we observe our pets, for instance, we know that they are intelligent. You know, we, we don't need to be convinced of that. But this is also true for plants, even for bacteria. Life is inherently intelligent. And in terms of concepts and theories, uh, this is uh, embodied in the so-called Santiago theory of cognition, which I discuss in the course, which says that the interactions of a living organism with its environment are cognitive interactions. The process of cognition, which is the process of knowledge, is very closely linked to the very process of life. So whenever you have life, you have knowledge. Whenever you have life, you have cognition. And this is why we can say life is inherently intelligent. So I think uh, when uh, you know, maybe sometime you talk to your friends and they ask you, What's the, what is this all about? This systems view of life, then without going into technical details, you can tell them, well, it's the, the insight that life organizes itself in networks. It is inherently regenerative. It is creative and it is intelligent. That sort of sums it up. And, and I found this very useful recently. And, uh, you know, I'm curious what you think of it. And I also look forward to other questions you may have. Mm -hmm.